So you're out in your yard and you see a highly venomous cotton mouse slithering around. What are you going to do? Well, if you're anything like Florida resident 18-year-old Austin Hatfield, you're going to get a pillowcase. You're going to pick up that damn snake. You're going to put it in there. You're going to take it in your house. And it's going to be your pet. You're going to take it out and you're going to give it sweet, loving kisses. You're going to show off in front of your friends. You're going to kiss it. You're going to love that snake. Well, that's what Austin did one night. And he got a kiss right back. One of his friends, Jason Belcher, was there to witness the whole thing. And he told the news. He took it out. Put it on his chest. And it was acting funny. And it jumped up and got him. Fucking got him right in the face. He then ripped it off his face, threw it on the ground, and started swelling up immediately. Belcher goes on to say it was pretty frightening. We've done a lot of stuff together. A lot of fucking stupid stuff together, apparently. But this is one thing that scared me the most. Hatfield was rushed to the Tampa General Hospital in critical condition. Had to be hooked up to a ventilator to breathe because the swelling was so severe. Had to go through several anti-venom treatments. He's now in stable condition. He's now expected to fully recover. When he gets out, he's going to be facing Department of Wildlife and Fisheries in Florida for being in possession of a highly venomous reptile without a permit. Of course, the snake was put down. They had to kill it. So, thanks, Austin. You killed the snake. You know, fucking dumbass. Oh, and by the way, Charges, no big thing. Austin won't care. Austin has a little bit of a criminal background. He was arrested on September 1st, 2014 for a grand theft in the third degree. No big deal for 18-year-old Austin. You'd think that kissing a snake like this, you thought that you were cool, and a snake kisses you back and almost ends your life. It's time for a wake-up call. Time to rethink what you're doing. Do something different. I don't think Austin's going to do that. Austin has a habit of picking up snakes and giving them little kisses. It's his hobby. Here's a picture of Austin kissing a rattlesnake. Yeah. Yeah. He's a serial dumbass. You know, Austin, you ought to thank God you're alive. You ought to be very grateful that you had friends there to help you out. And y'all don't have to rethink your hobby. Y'all come up with something else. I don't know. Get a coloring book, motherfucker. Get a fucking coloring book. Do something. Quit fucking with snakes. If you don't know what the fuck you're doing, don't do it. You know, because next time you might not have any friends there. You might be in the middle of fucking nowhere. Kissing a damn snake. Snake kisses you back, you're dead in the fucking swamp, floating upside down. What the fuck then? You're lucky. You're fucking lucky. Well, Austin, you're famous for being a dumbass. You got your 15 minutes, it keeps continuing, you keep seeing this story. As far as where Austin found the snake, I, I've heard he found his girlfriend jar. He found it while he was swimming in the swamp. You know, he had it for weeks before. Who the fuck knows? All we know is Austin was in possession of a fucking snake and did something stupid. Austin, recover. Take care of your legal shit. Quit fucking with snakes. Be a dumbass. Anyway, till next time, see ya.